all right hey guys so I'm gonna be doing a review today of the new Sony or it's new to me the Sony a7 III and I'm gonna go over some of the features that it has and I'm also right now recording on my phone it'll only be for a little bit until I switch to the camera so let's get right into it a lot of the reasons I switched was because I was finding limitations in the camera that I used to shoot on was the which was the Canon Rebel SL2 it's a really good camera but there were some limitations that I figured upgrading a camera would be a lot more easier than dealing with those limitations so I'm gonna go over some of the features this camera is full frame so as you can see this is the sensor right there and I'm not used to shooting on full frame but it's very very helpful and a lot of the um, features that it um, has so you know bigger sensor means uh, wider usually wider it's not crop like a uh, crop sensor it has better depth of field and it also has better low light and 4k 30 HDR so it shoots at 4k the highest frames per second being 30 in HDR which is new since my old camera only did 1080 at 60 which is really good but um, for, I'm not going to be really shooting in 4k that much so I'm not going to really be using it but I'll show some of the features that it has and then it also shoots 1080p at 120 frames per second which is good for slow-mo and um, it's still the same uh, me megapixel rate so 24.2 which is the same on my old camera and it's not really you know that high I guess for the um, well, full frame but it's really good and it has pretty much some of the best uh, images it produces and also this also has um, EVF or electronic viewfinder so the viewfinder um, is electronic it switches whenever you hold it up to your eye it switches to the viewfinder which is better because it gives you an actual picture rather than an optical viewfinder because you can look at it and adjust the settings accordingly to how it, you want it and this has 693 autofocus points and if I remember correctly my old camera only had about nine so that is a huge improvement and it also has eye autofocus which is really good for getting tack sharp onto the face if you're doing humans or if you're doing animals in fact it does have animal eye eye autofocus which is pretty cool to me and the ISO range which is just wonderful it goes from 100 to 51,200 and it's expandable up to over a hundred thousand if I remember correctly but just some of the pictures and the low light and ISO noise reduction that it has in low light situations is beautiful and I didn't really realize that until you use it until I used it and then it does have different um, log profiles so it has hybrid log gamma which is a really flat image I'm gonna be doing some of the tests in that and it does have touch focus on the screen only thing is it's not fully accessible so it's only usually when you're focusing on it and not when you're in the menu you can't really use the touch features which kind of sucks being that the Canon that I was it was fully touch screen and pretty much all of it was able to um, be adjusted through just touching and it does have a dual slot SD card tray so I do have two in there right now just for show so you can um, have however many and then once one gets full it switches to the next one automatically which is really good and it also has USB-C and regular USB charging USB-C is for faster charging and I've tested it out and it charges much quicker because the regular charge port from a fully dead battery takes about 285 minutes if you're charging it through the camera which is close to over four hours which is really long so having the USB-C option is really helpful and then I still have the smartphone capabilities to connect to it using the app and be able to transfer pictures on the go wherever I am and a new feature that I'm used 
starting to get used to is the in-body image stabilization. So pretty much that means it has a gimbal within the camera. It's a five axis gimbal and it helps if you don't have an image stabilized lens like most. And those are pretty much some of the quick features that I'm going to go over and we're going to go ahead and switch to the camera now. All right, so I'm on the camera now. It's going to be a lot different from the phone, which is a good thing. And it's at 4K 24 frames per second, which is something I wasn't able to do on my old camera. And I'm shooting on the 28 to 70 optical steady shot lens. So it's wide, but on my other camera, it was a crop sensor. So it was at 18 to 55. And I was skeptical about getting this lens because I wasn't sure how wide 28 was, but it's actually really good. And it's pretty much around the same uh, range as the old one because on the Canon it was a 1.6 crop I think so 18 times 1.6 equals about 24 ish if I'm correct I don't know um, so right now I think I'm shooting on the Cine 2 picture profile which is kind of flat and one thing I love about the Sony is that I'm able to fully customize the picture profile to what I like and I usually try to shoot flat because I want to add some type of color grade and um, color correction to the film. So right now I'm test shots and I'm going to show you how good it does. So right now I am shooting at 24 frames per second. So I have an ND filter on and I have the shutter speed set to 150th because if you don't know you have to double your frame rate and your shutter speed. So. I don't exactly know if I'm in focus or not because it doesn't have a flip out screen so you can't really see what you're filming. That's one of the drawbacks but it does have really good autofocus features so I do trust that I am in focus and also the um, way around that is to get a monitor but it's one of those things where it would be easier to just have the screen than to buy an external monitor for it. but. If you really want to, you could. So I'm going to go and do some test footage and hope you guys like it. All right, so I decided I went over all the features of the camera. So I'm gonna go over some of the drawbacks that I found that I didn't exactly like. So number one, I would say is the screen and how it doesn't tilt, it on, or it only tilts, it doesn't um, flip out. And that's one uh, problem that I've uh, found in situations of vlogging. So I'm not able to see what I'm doing as of right now. And like I was talking earlier, how I could get an external monitor, but that's more down the road. I'm probably gonna have to invest into one since I do have this. And number two is the limited touch capability. So you're really only able to use touch to autofocus. So on the screen, you're not able to use it in the menu screen or in the playback screen so you're not able to swipe through which would be very helpful and will be a lot easier to navigate through the system and i feel that's something they could implement in a maybe firmware update i'm not sure exactly how that works but I pre i'm pretty sure they can do it and my third and final gripe that i have with this camera is that it's hard to switch between recording formats because you have to go into the menu system and do so as in with my old camera, I could do it while I was on the home screen and didn't have to go into the menu. I could just go and touch and select the recording format, whether it had been 1080, 60, 1080, 24, 30, 720, whatever. So that's one gripe that I have that um, you have to go into the menu system and scroll through the different pages and find it. And I feel they ha have the capability to implement that feature as you can switch between raw and JPEG files on the um, if you implement it into your custom buttons because they have four custom buttons that you're able to um, select what features you want to have on those select buttons. And 
you're able to implement it onto one of them that you can switch between raw raw plus jpeg or just jpeg and i think they'll be able to implement that in a later firmware update if that's possible i'm not exactly sure but i feel they can do that so i decided i'm in the video outside so if you guys enjoyed the review um be sure to subscribe follow me on social media like the video share and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys later